What is up, YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, and welcome to the worst podcast. This is my first podcast that I'm going to kick off doing music related, hot topics, everything that you can imagine under the sun, just to add to the channel. All right, I never want to get stale, I never want to get boring, just doing reviews all the time, just listening to music all the time. So it, it, it will be about music but we're going to expand it to other categories all right this episode is called the good the bad and the ugly okay a couple of days ago i'm minding my own business i wake up and then i see a fellow producer hating all right hating in the comments all right now this stuff doesn't bother me i'm the worst producer of all time people say what they say but this one hit home because it was untrue. It was the ugly side. Now, let's start from the top. The good thing is YouTube allows everybody to start a channel and grow, all right? But the bad part is there's jealousy in this industry. I'm a small YouTuber, a small YouTuber. I have nothing that you would want, but even the small get hate. I'm not on here bragging about, oh, I got these placements, I got this or that. I'm Hollywood Floss. I'm just like you. I have no intentions but to help you see better choices in the music VST review space, okay? Um, I just want better beats and just want to help. You can ask. I got clients who have asked for mentorship and I've done nothing but mentor. So I think it's people, and then when I, when I clap back, people say, you can't take criticism. I can take criticism. I'm the worst producer of all time. I've been booed off stage. I've, anything you, when it comes to music, it has happened. Okay, I've been signed to bad deal. All of that as a rapper, all of that been signed to bad deal. So I'm gonna tell you the truth. I have no reason to lie to you guys. All right. Anytime I'm making money, you see the affiliate links that you clicking. It's not a scam. That's you clicking on it. You're using my code. You're getting a percentage off. So there is never a reason to cheat you guys, but let's just start. Okay, so I did the unison MIDI wizard verse the Eva Beats Melody Sauce 2. When I was doing the comparisons, I made a mistake and I clicked the wrong, I never clicked the, the trap for unison and it came out that the, the melody wasn't right. So by default, Melody Sauce 2. When they pointed out, I said, man, you're right. I made a mistake. No, nah, no, nah, yeah, you ain't you ain't make no mistake. You lying. I'm like, what? I made a mistake. I'm not getting paid by any of the companies. You can see that I haven't gotten paid by any of the companies. I don't have any affiliate links for them. So how can I get paid by them to sway a vote? Then he was like, man, y'all always talking down on Unison. Ah, you can go check my history. I'm one of the ones who stood up for not only drum monkey but mini wizard and they are expensive so people do have a right to say they're expensive but they're not a scam a scam would be more so if we said hey this is what you're getting and then when you get it you don't get that same thing with both of these products people were saying it's a scam because they didn't have the money to pay for it oh man five hundred dollars is a ripoff well then don't buy it how is it a scam a scam is when you buy something and you don't get what you purchase not oh you bought something and it's too expensive if that's the case ferrari lamborghini hell nikes gucci louis vuitton chanel all of the balenciaga all this stuff is a ripoff because it's just too expensive see that's where y'all gotta understand the difference between a scam and just expensive okay midi wizard says it generates different chords and melodies in different keys in different genres does it do that yes is it expensive yes but is it a scam no it's not a scam they're not making you buy it <laughs> a scam is something making you buy that you don't get what you paid for you're getting what you paid for okay so we use the word scam in the producer space a lot when it's not a scam okay a scam would be 
someone saying they're going to it's not even a scam with this check this out this happens all the time big producers say i will play your music or your loop or whatever the beat when you collab with me you pay me such and such and i'm gonna try to get it placed they don't guarantee the placement okay they're they gonna try now if they get they don't try then that is a scam because they didn't do what they was going to say but how would you know because you're not in there with them you're not in the studio with them so you're taking a chance in that state i wouldn't do that anyway i wouldn't pay no other producer if i can't if i gotta pay you to get a placement and it's not guaranteed then that's that's a red flag right there y'all gotta be smarter quit being so hungry to get to skip the steps okay the number two thing he says then he didn't accept the apology i said i was wrong he didn't want to accept the apology what kind of man is that then he said sometimes beat this ain't beef we on the internet you're not getting paid i'm not getting paid for these companies for us to have beef i don't know you oh, i don't do the internet beef you're on the internet you're on youtube and my last thing on that part it's YouTube. Y'all don't have to. If you don't like my videos, move on. Skip it. So those are the type of things you can look for on my podcast. Diving in those type of topics. Okay. Y'all got to stop being so bitter. I had one person get mad that I was reviewing Scalar 2.6. In the new Scalar 2.6, it says that there's a new trap bank, new, 10 new core banks provided by Scalar, and a new sound, the, the, the trap 808. I reviewed that, he says, this is ridiculous. Who who uses uh, a Scalar 2 for trap bass chords? I don't know, 100,000 people? I don't know how many people they, I don't know how many people Scalar have sold to. But what I do know is I'm just reviewing the product. This is what they're offering. Why are you so mad at what they're offering? And if you're mad, why are you mad at me? Get, write, write your email to Scalar 2. Not me. I have nothing to do with it. I'm just reviewing it. I don't mind if you guys. This is the difference. Constructive criticism says, you can say, man, I wish this, uh, I wish your video was a little bit clear. It's a kind of grainy. And it's hard to look at so i can't see your screen or something like that that's constructive criticism you say next time can you please change the settings or get a better camera for us but good but good job see criticism is just talking about the bad parts what was good what, or what was good what was bad constructive criticism means you're trying to help a lot of y'all c- c- confuse constructive criticism with criticism i could take constructive criticism all day long i can take regular criticism but what i'm not going to take is just the blatant misinformation or opinions being spread and that goes i'm not even a big youtuber so it's not like i'm getting that all the time i appreciate all the fans that have been rocking with me and helping me glow that's why i started this podcast to connect more because i know you have more questions and i know this would be a better way to answer those questions how to grow your brand how to get better okay what should i be doing what's the next step okay this whole YouTube thing was me trying. You, I still got my, my first videos, and it was horrible. You might still think it's horrible. That's fine. That's your opinion. But I don't need to hear your opinion. I don't care. I'm just addressing this because it's annoying. And before I just block you, I'd rather you understand where we're coming from. Okay. You can ask questions like, oh man, I didn't like that bell sound. I don't care. I'm just showing you what it has to offer. I'm just showing you the presets because I feel me not being classically trained in a guitar, piano, or anything like that, but understanding a little bit about the theory, understanding what, understanding just the hip hop culture and what it's built upon, I can help you get the sound that you're trying to get to or the level you're trying to get to. I'm not here to be Beethoven. If that's the case, oh man, you need to get better or this. None of us are Beethoven. If, if you just want to take it there, like, okay. And it's so subjective. Music is, some people like Avril Lavigne. Some people like Britney Spears. Some people like Evanescence. 
Some people like Nickelback. Some people like Will I Am. Some people like ESTG. Like, I un- don't understand when people try to push their opinions on you. You know what I mean? They try to push their opinion. You're like, man, I don't have nothing to do with that. That you, you like, you like it. I'm still gonna like Jay Z, Lil Wayne, Gunplay. I'm gonna like who I like. Lupe Fiasco, one of my favorite artists. I don't care what he do outside of that. I'm talking about just the music. I don't know him. Okay, don't meet your heroes. So, yeah, that's the good and the bad and the ugly. Please stop. Don't do that on anybody's channel. Where you think you're just... Oh, burp, burp, burp. No one cares. If and, if and this is my last thing on this. Start your own channel. Like I said 10 minutes ago, it's free. Start your own channel. Grow your platform. See if anybody cares about what you think. They probably don't. You're probably just not you're probably boring you're probably just not entertaining it is what it is i just do me and i'm grateful for the people who fall along who are helpful okay before the clowns all you gotta do is start your own youtube channel and you can say and hear what you want to hear you want to hear this then do it ironically the two people they gave the ugly comments this past week had two or no comments in their section I mean nothing I clicked on the profile no content I wonder why are you afraid (laughs) anyways moving on another part we're gonna talk about hip-hop news okay we'll talk about some pop Probably a little bit of country, rock and roll, whatever, R&B, but mainly hip hop. That's what I've grown in. That's what I'm familiar with. That's what I know. Little TJ, and I want all rappers out there to say, man, first of all, prayers up to TJ Holy makes a full recovery. He was alert at the time of this recording. Man, y'all got to get security and it can't be your homeboys. It can't be your homeboys that's your kid. You got to get that trained security that has the gun licenses, that has been trained in combat. Y'all making too much money not to have it. I'm telling you, people will be like, oh, he didn't keep it real. They're not going to pay your bills. Trust me, I know when. Me as a small YouTuber, me as a small producer, people not trying to hear it. Hey, man, uh, can I pay you in beats? To the cable company nah you get that money and the best way to get money is to be healthy to show up okay so please prayers up to tj you know fan of his music uh, there's a there's a space for it there's a lot of copycats there's a space for the originals like him and like polo g or a boogie um, but for the rest it's just like uh, i can just go get a little tj who actually makes good music but please get that security, young fellas. Nothing wrong. You're not any less of a man for having security. You're just smarter. And you, you're keeping a hold of yourself, all right? And you already know gun laws in NYC are crazy. Crazy gun law. Like, they be trying to, you have a gun in NY, like, they trying to throw you under the jail for life. Okay? So, make sure that gets taken care of. And next up, man, I wanted to talk about this to close out my first podcast. This is Twitter. I saw this and I was like, man, this is crazy. If you're serious about your career, $250 is nothing. So I'm assuming uh, Joe is a, a producer. And uh, he's right. You know, In the grand scheme of things, in 2022, $250 is nothing. Now, I'm not getting $250, 250 That's some good money. But if you're investing in yourself in 2022, that's nothing. I mean, you should be able to do that. So let's look at the tweet he sends out. I'm assuming from an artist. Yo, what's up? Throw me a deal together. You know, that's that's how, you know, the artists talk. I know I want to get that remember when beat. Hey, man, 250 for that one. I'm, I'm thinking he's talking about an exclusive, okay, because um, it would probably be like 39 to 50 bucks for the MP3, but he could resell it to other artists, especially on BeatStars or whatever. Damn, that's a lot. I might hold off on that. I do got over 600k followers on social media. I could do hella promo for you. 
Okay, so you're gonna do two hundred and fifty dollars worth of promo, and if so, okay, I'm cool with that. You start promoting me, I sell two hundred fifty dollars worth of beats, but I'm still not gonna know if they came from your social media presence. But let's say they did. Let's let's hey, let's be nice. Let's say it did. Let's say it did come from that. I get I make my quote of 250 after you start posting me consistently for a week or two weeks, however long it takes to get to the 250. And then I give you a beat. I'm perfectly fine with that. If that was the perfect world scenario and that is how it went down. But we all know that's not true. We all know that's not what's about to happen. Come on, big dog. And if you have 600k followers, you can't parlay that into $250? See, you don't have followers. You probably have a lot of bots. You probably don't have those real fans. Because all you need is 100 fans and them, that ride or die for you. And you threw the roof, ladies and gentlemen. You threw the roof. So what is it about your 600K that you can't generate $250 if you're an artist? For one beat. To care about your career. Come on, let's talk about this. This is big. If you're serious about your career, 250 is nothing. Then the next, the first person says, well, no, 250 to a struggling artist is 250. I don't know if you've seen housing or gas prices lately. That gas price and housing don't just apply to him, the person trying to get the beat. And if you're having problems with housing or gas, then you need to put your hobby on hold because obviously you're not doing it professionally if you can't live off of it. Me, me, professional means doing something to live off of. You're getting paid to do what you love. So obviously, if you're a struggling artist, number one, you, and you're trying to buy $250 beats or whatever, or trying to make this rap career, this ain't for you right now. You need to get that job. <laughs> if you don't have a job, you need to get that job. I don't know if you've seen. And, and why, why is the person taking up for this artist only saying that housing and gas prices? So he, the producer don't have, he don't have the same inflation on housing and gas and groceries only the struggling artists got that <laughs> okay people gotta eat yeah people do have to eat but people don't have to make albums it's not a requirement as a human being that you make an album it's a requirement that you eat something obviously this man doesn't have 250 to spare then why are you in my dms buying something if you don't have it to spare on the flip side of things he didn't know it was gonna be 250 but at the same time you i'm not gonna lower my price just to help you out why should i why do why, why am i obligated to do that i'm not and he's trying to compensate the only other way he can and still trying to bring something to the table yeah, but I don't have to accept his promo. You got 600, obviously your promo don't work. If you got 600K followers and you can't generate $250, something's wrong with you. I have a thousand across probably each platform except for YouTube and I can generate something. People pay for what they want. Let's go through some of these comments. <laughs> the original, I'm trying to eat too. That's what licenses are for. Yeah, he can get a cheaper license, you get a $39 license or a $25 mp3 license use it okay nothing wrong with that but you trying to get the exclusive you just want the beat for yourself like you said people got gotta eat and followers don't pay bills as long as they respect the music he can come back when he has the budget judging from original post i said respect is not mutual how is the respect not mutual he never said anything back he just said you're not serious about your career Hey man, I want to be an NBA player, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy no basketball to to, to practice. Like, then you not see, hey man, I want to be a piano player, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna learn how to play the keys. I'm just gonna keep reading books. You're not serious. And I see this all too many times with rappers rap about this image of I'm a kingpin, I'm an empire. And then maybe they speaking into existence, but you can't be serious if you're not willing to pay something. If you're a producer, you have to uh, be able to buy a computer at least or 
something have a computer have some vsts have a program that works you have to invest into your career you have to buy a beach stars page that's that's not cheap that's twenty dollars a month each month whether you celebrate or not they still gonna get their subscription you have to make label designs graphic designs all of this stuff so let me know in the comments below who's on the right side. Should he have sold it to him for cheap? Should he have just taken the promo? Or does he have a legit, hey, no, I want my money. Look at this right here. If only they had this logic in department stores, I'd be fresh as F every day. All I have is my beautiful smile. I can pay you with that. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Let's go, let's look into some more of this. Bro just offered an alternative. It's not like he want, went off about how you shouldn't be charging as much or some dumb s like a, a lot of these people do. Give dude a break. People gotta eat. Nah, ain't no give dude a break. I'm not saying that you have to sip his offer or that you were in the wrong for holding your ground. Just that I generally do not see the point in blasting someone. He didn't blast him. He didn't show. He didn't tell the person who he was. He hid that. He just showed the conversation. So that's why I disagree. He was respectful. He just sometimes you gotta vent. Okay. Sometimes you do have to vent. As long as you ain't blasting nobody, sometimes you gotta vent. If you got 600k followers and you got 250 to play for beat, I got bad news. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. <laughs> Always with the free promo. The man has 600k and can't spend 250. All right, 600k buy. That's what I'm saying. It's something not adding up. You got that many followers. Or you a rapper, then you should be able to say, hey, man, I got this new single dropping or go buy my last single for a dollar. And you, sh you, can't, you can't get 250 out of 600,000. Then something ain't right. You are free to think what you want to. Release the beat, get the promo, though. You can pay for one fifty promo and the rest 50 cent. Nah, promo don't pay the bills. That's right. People should be charging 1000 for exclusives. If you're getting 1000 for a major artist, you think to, you need to rethink what F you're doing. That's why I said minimum. Yeah, and then after that, it's just a whole bunch of back and forth. But let me know what you think. Can you be serious without investing in yourself in 2022? I still buy promo for B-Stars sometimes. Not necessarily track train because I just don't like it. Their their um, promo system. B-Stars, I think, works. Or at least it's worked for me. YouTube ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, what works for you. All right? The good, the bad, and the ugly. It's your boy Hollywood Floss. The worst podcast. I'm glad I started this. This is a safe space to talk. You know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna disagree. I'm not we ain't gonna we ain't gonna always agree. But let's do it in a good way. Alright. No ugliness, alright. Enough of all that. Hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know what topics you wanna see more. Um, I'm trying to do this every two to three days as hip hop news and um, just world news that affects the community gets released. I want to be able to talk about these topics as well. Keep them fresh on your mind, and um, and just talk, just ramble. You know what I mean? Just, just, just have good dialogue. Hit the hit the like and subscribe button. Please join Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Thank you for letting me get that that off. More podcasts on the way. Go to HollywoodFloss.BeatStars.com and buy some kits, buy some beats. And um, yeah, until next time, peace.